Hello folks, welcome to another Baker Bit. It's cold outside and that wind is howling today. So uh, it's nice and warm here in the Baker barn. I decided to take this opportunity to uh, show you some new products I just acquired and put on my Basscat. They're electronics mounts. Um, I get a lot of comments from people on my videos uh, questions uh, through the YouTube or I'll get messenger uh, uh, message requests or uh, through Facebook. People are always asking me about my equipment. You know, what am I using? What are my rods? What are my reels? Uh, what baits am I using? Uh, tell me about the double seat, which I'm going to do a video on that as well. But I, I just got some new electronics mounts and I know I'm going to get a ton of questions. So I'm trying to head those off and thought I'd just do this little video to show you what I got and give you some details on it. Um, I try to answer every question. I appreciate all the questions. I want you to send them to me, comments. That's great. If you send me one and I haven't responded to it in a week or so, uh, you, you just understand that I probably didn't see it for some reason because I try to answer every question that's sent to me. I appreciate them and uh, you take the time to watch the videos, I'll take the time to try to answer your questions. Uh, but at any rate, I started out, uh, I wanted a taller mount for the bow of the boat. Uh, you know, the, the mount I had, my electronics sit down low on the deck of the boat, and I like to stand. Unless I'm spider rigging, uh, I stand most of the time, and with the live scope and, and my other electronics down, close to the floor. I'm always got my neck down uh, looking at the electronics while I'm fishing. And I've seen some mounts uh, that you can raise up and, and uh, so I was interested in that so I started doing a little research and I came across these beat down outdoor mounts that I'm going to show you. And in the process of looking for a new bow mount I came across this uh, console mount. Uh, the one I had worked pretty good but it was just stationary. You couldn't adjust it very well. You certainly couldn't adjust it on the fly. And it, um, it, it was close to my steering wheel. Whenever I had my steering wheel in the position I like it in, I felt like my knuckles were almost dragging on the electronics. So I saw this double console mount from Beatdown. And uh, so I ended up getting uh, this console mount and I, I got two bow mounts. I've got one on my Basscat I've got another one that I'm going to put on my Sea Arc. I just hadn't got around to doing that yet. But uh, I wanted to show you these mounts. So here's the console mount. And, and the beauty of these things is they are so adjustable. I, I mean, you can move them in all kinds of directions. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. Um, but uh, to begin with, let me, let me drop the steering wheel down so you can see it a little bit better. But this bar, this round tube, uh, is the backbone of the mount. And it, uh, it just mounts with two uh, clips, so to speak, or two mounts uh, that are on the bar. They're fully adjustable. Let me move this out a little bit. Maybe you can see those, those mounts a little bit. I'll see if I can get it here on my uh, chest cam a little bit. But it's, they're just two bolts. And I mounted mine straight on the uh, fiberglass of my console. These bass cats have such thick fiberglass, that's no problem at all. In fact, I was able to use two holes from the mount I had, so I just had to drill uh, two other holes. There's, there's two holes in each mount. And, and the mounts themselves, the brackets will slide in and out. So depending on the configuration of your console and your boat, I mean, these things are, are uh, very adjustable. So you can move them around and mount them. Uh, so once you get them, then uh, I, I run two 12-inch Solix units on my boat on the console. And uh, so there's a bracket for each one. And, and again, these things are so adjustable uh, that it's incredible. Uh, there's a handle here, you can turn that at, and you can slide these in and out on that bar wherever you want them, move them up and down. Of course, you got your your bracket that comes uh, with your 
uh, head unit and you can also turn it uh, this way using that but you can put these wherever you want it's got these quick handles um, I'm such a dummy I didn't know when I first got them I turned the handle and I thought well that hits my electronics I can't I can't adjust it fully the handle hits the unit these all these handles are on springs and so you just pull that handle out and then you can put that handle wherever you want and then pop it back in and then it engages the bolt uh, to move it. So you get it where you want it. If you don't like the placement of the handle, move the handle around. So at any rate, this one, as I showed you, moves them in and out and up and down. This one, you can turn them this way, right and left which I think is great because if I've got Charlie over here in the boat and I'm looking at something and I want to show Charlie, I can just do that. Hey, Charlie, what do you think about that? Is that a crappie? But these things are great. Um, I run them uh, in like this. I don't have any trouble looking over these. Uh, they, they sit here real nice, but if, if you had an issue uh, let's say you had to mount them up higher on your boat and you're having a hard time looking up above them. The beauty of these things are just move them out, each one. I don't have a lot of cord on this one, but uh, you can move it all the way out to the uh, ends there, and you actually got a lane here. You can look right through them, and so you're not having to crane and look, look over the units. But uh, like I say, I pull mine in. I've got them adjusted to my eyesight. And uh, I just think, I think they're awesome units. I mean, that thing is solid. Uh, you couldn't tear that off. It'll be real stable. It is real stable running down the uh, lake. So I've been in some pretty big waves with them. They don't move at all. But at any rate, that's the double console mount. Now I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna uh, reposition the cameras and we'll go up here and I'll show you this uh, mount I have for the bow of the boat. It's also, a double mount. I run a, a Garmin 8612 and another uh, Humminbird uh, Solix 12 on the bow. And uh, let me just let me let me just tell you. Let me answer this question right off because I get it all the time. These little numbers on my graph here, those are just the last three numbers of the serial number for that graph. When I'm in here. Uh, making adjustments and I'm trying to figure out which graph is which in my networking. Uh, they're identified by serial number. I know you can change that and name them if you want to. Uh, I haven't taken the time to do that. I just simply write the number of uh, the last few numbers of the serial number and that way when I'm uh, doing my uh, networking I know which unit switch. All right, let's go to the front. Okay, so let me show you this bow mount. Now, these two units on, on this uh, mount, it's in its lowest position, uh, and that's about the height that my graphs were uh, on my other mount. And so I'm standing up here fishing all day, and I'm constantly looking down at this live scope, and it puts a crick in your neck, frankly, after a while. But, but that's where my other one was, and the idea was to be able to, to move them up, and this mount's great. It's a beat down, I think it's called the Ultimate. It's a double stack mount, obviously, as you can see. But uh, I'll show you how this thing works. There's, there's two sections to this. You can raise it up, and, and it's fully adjustable in one height range. Or then, uh, I'll show you, you can turn another pin and it, it's got a second height range. And, and you can put this unit anywhere along either of those uh, height units, I'll call them. But so it's down, it's all the way down here now. If you uh, loosen these knobs, you can turn it all the way around. If you... Okay, so you wanna raise this up, loosen this top knob over here. I don't know if I can... You can see that very well. I'm trying to film and do all this by myself. But we've got a knob right here that's for this, uh, for the bracket itself that holds the units. Just loosen that. And like I said, this thing turns. Uh, just raise that up. And then there's a pin. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There's a pin right here. And so when you pull that all the way up in that first 
height unit, for lack of a better term, uh, it'll lock in. And then you take, just tighten that knob there, and it, it keeps it from spinning. And so that brings it up. And like I said, if you want to, uh, say you just wanted it up about half that distance, you don't have to bring it all the way up where that pin locks. Just pull that pin out, loosen this knob, pull that pin out, and you can move it down wherever you want along that height range. And then all you gotta do is just tighten up that knob, and there you have it. So it's fully adjustable in that first range. So let's move it all the way up. All right, now let's say uh, you wanna get on up higher. Like I said, there's another range. So you just come down here on this bottom knob, loosen that, look at that, and pull it all the way up that high. I mean, that thing, folks, that's right there. You don't have to crane your neck at all for that. And I'm telling you, that thing is solid. I've got this other one over here that I haven't put on the Sea Arc. We'll get down here in a minute and I'll, I'll show you a little more detail about it from the workbench. But here's another great thing about this thing, folks. So, you know, there are mounts out there that are tall, but they're fixed. And so you're running down the lake and this thing standing up here, you can't see around it. This way, you get ready to go. You just come down here, loosen these knobs real quick, drop that down. Same one here, Re loosen that knob, pull that pin. That thing sits way down there. You can see over it. If you can't see over it, it's still in the way. Here's the beauty, turn it, tighten it up. I guarantee you, you can see around that. So that unit will not be blocking your view in any way, shape, or form. And I'm gonna tell you, these things, there's some weight to them because they're made so sturdy. They're thick. Um, and I'm gonna show you that. We'll get down here and I'll show you some heights uh, by the tape measure, exactly what it is. But I'm telling you, that thing is on there solid. It uh, mounts with four bolts and uh, Let's get down there and let me show that to you. Okay, here's the unit that I'm gonna put on my Sea Arc. Uh, so uh, I think I can maybe show you a little bit about it. From the side, of course, you got your two platforms for your two mounts. These are adjustable. You can move them up and down. There's some holes there if you wanna make a fine tune adjustment there. But this thing, I'm telling you folks, it's sturdy. Here's, here's how it mounts. It's got just four, four bolts that go in there to mount it down that mounting plate. They send you with this plate that you can, if you can get up underneath where you're mounting it and put that plate underneath there to really sandwich that down on the boat. Uh, hardware, they send hardware with it to mount it. It's really easy to mount. Um, and so, here we go as we were talking let's let's just take a tape measure here and look at this all the way down in that position to that bottom plate is seven inches and so up here at about midway on this top plate we're at about ten and a half inches that's in the lowest position so if you undo that raise that up there there's that pin, I think you can see it a little better from this view, that pin right there, you pull it to bring that up and down, and when you pull it all the way up, it locks in there. And so at the top of that first range, as I call it, we're at 16 inches on the bottom graph, and about 19 and a half, let's see if you can see that, about 19 and a half on that top one. 16 on the bottom one so then if you uh, loosen this bottom one and bring that all the way up and then tighten it wow look at this 25 inches up there folks and then to that one up there 28 and a half I don't know if you can see that on the camera. 28 and a half. 
So I mean that thing that really gets it way up there. Now let me let me show you another great feature to this thing. We'll pull that all the way down, tighten that, loosen that one, take that one all the way down. So you know, let's say you're traveling, you're at a hotel parking lot, you want to take all your graphs off your boat and take them in at night, make sure they're good and safe and secure. This bottom knob right here, if you loosen that, of course you got your base secure, turn that, that whole thing comes out of there. So you just take your graphs, your mount, see it's got a wedged part down there at the bottom that locks in. All you've got on your boat is that. Come back out the next morning, of course you unhook your, your wires to your graphs, do this, take it off, take the whole thing inside, turn that, tighten that up, and there you go. It's heavy, folks, because it's well made. It's thick. Uh, these plates won't be breaking off, I promise you that. I love it. Uh, I'm glad I found it. I'm glad I got it on my boat. It was pretty simple. Uh, running the wires and that sort of thing for your electronics is, is probably the hardest part. But getting the, getting the mount on and mounting your graphs on them, pretty simple. But that's it, folks. I hope that helps you. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below for uh, Beatdown Outdoors. I think they're located in uh, Sedalia, Missouri, or close, close to Sedalia. I'd encourage you to contact them. Take a look at their products. They got some single mounts. I don't know, they got a whole bunch of stuff. But I found what I wanted, and I'm glad I got it. Anyway, thanks for being with me. I'll see you on the next one.